if the 100th term of an arithmetic sequence is 682 and its common difference is 7, then find a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3. Because the 100th term is 682, we know a sub 100 is equal to 682, and we're also told the common difference d is equal to 7. From here, we can use the arithmetic sequence formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d to determine a sub 1. Once we find a sub 1, we can use a common difference to find a sub 2 and a sub 3. So using the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d, we will use a sub 100, which means now n is 100. a sub 100 is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity 100 minus 1 times a common difference d. And we know that a sub 100 is 682, which must equal a sub 1, which we don't know, plus 100 minus 1 is 99, giving us 99 times d, and d is 7. 99 times 7 is equal to 693, giving us 682 equals a sub 1 plus 693. And now we subtract 693 on both sides to solve for a sub 1. Simplifying, we have a sub 1 equals 682 minus 693, which is negative 11. So now we know the first term, a sub 1, is equal to negative 11. And because we have an arithmetic sequence to find a sub 2, we simply add 7 to negative 11. And then to find a sub 3, we add 7 to a sub 2. But let's go ahead and show this using the formula a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 plus d. So using the formula a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 plus d to find a sub 2, as soon as we write a sub 2, n is 2, we have a sub 2 equals a sub 1 plus the common difference d, which indicates a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1, which is negative 11, plus 7, which is equal to negative 4. So again, a sub 2 is equal to negative 4. And then a sub 3 is going to be negative 4 plus 7, or positive 3. But let's go ahead and show the work below using the formula. a sub 3 is equal to a sub 2 plus the common difference d. Again, giving us a sub 3 is equal to a sub 2, which is negative 4, plus 7, which of course is positive 3. And here are the three terms in the arithmetic sequence we were asked to determine. I hope you found this helpful.